AGC simply shut down the whole statutory board, which was known as the CPE back then. Then in 2014, when we protested against the CPF minimum sum, they simply changed the name to call it CPF retirement sum now. So after they charged all of us in court, then now they call it the CPF retirement sum. So people will not search for CPF minimum sum and people will not realise that actually long ago, there are already people who spoke up against CPF system and say that the government needs to return us our money. And it's not just about returning us our CPF money. It's also returning us the interest that they have earned using our CPF. They need to return us the returns as well. And just like how the CPF system, they say that when we sell our HDB, we need to give back accrued interest. The government didn't give us the accrued interest that they have earned for the numerous year whereby they only pay us 2.5%. And yesterday, the AGC sent me letters saying that I need to pay them like 5 to 6% interest on top of the $22,000. So they are now asking for about $25,000. Yeah, that's a good point. But I also want to add this. You know, when you file a writ in court, all right, you can ask for interest on the claim. And the interest given these days by the courts is 5.33% a year, all right? But why is it that CPF only gives you 2.5% a year? Now, think about it. You have this sum of money sitting in CPF every year, all right? Inflation now is how many percent? 5%? 6. 6%? 6 It means that every year your money is sitting there you are losing money, right? You are losing to inflation. Okay, Han Weiwei, um, 